forget losing time to create complex drop shadows and blurs to make the liquid glass effect. Now Figma has its own built-in glass effect tool and we will test it right away. So I prepared this file that you can access the link in the description and the first thing to do before we start to exploring here is to create a frame. So the glass effect only works on frames right now. So let me create here a frame just like that. And to access the glass effect, you just go to effects and as simple as it, you select here the glass. And if I zoom in, you can see already here the corners that are adapting to the shade of a glass. So if I go here and move the light, can you notice that something is happening here? Also, we, we can work here in the refraction, depth, dis dispersion, but nothing happened because we are working in a solid background. So if we go here to this first example and move my glass frame here, if we start to play around here with the refraction, with the depth, you notice that something is changing. And this is important to, to understand here, these concepts of what are light, refraction, depth, dispersion and frost. So light is what it gives glass its shine. It creates this highlight and reflection. So if I move, you can see if you look to this stroke, you can see that the light is moving. So um, this is how we work with light and we can also increase the transparency if we want to make it very bright or if we, we don't want it at all, uh, like in this example. Then we have refraction. So let me put everything to zero. Refraction is, it bends the light as it passes through glass. So maybe I will increase here some kind of, of a depth. And you can see that this uh, refraction makes kind of a distortion uh, behind the glass. You see, so if you go to from zero to 100, you see this distortion. Then the depth is about creating the illusion of uh, layers. So you adjust the blur, shadows and positioning and you make the glass feel like it, it exists uh, in real place. As you can see, it's kind of a magnifying glass um, effect that we are doing here. Then the dispersion, uh, it splits the light into subtle rainbow tones. So when I have zero, you don't notice anything. But if I start to move it to 100, you see this kind of a rainbow. So if I start to move it here, you see these uh, different colors, which creates a very cool effect. And then frost uh, is the blurred matte finish. So if I start to put it to 100, you don't see anything. And if I reduce and play around, it's, it's like you are uh, adding this kind of uh, matte effect. So yeah, <laughs> as simple as that. You can do it right away. Just create a frame, add an effect and here just play around um, with these uh, settings. Then I have also another example here to explore. So I have, I grab these icons. Uh, I have a plugin called the Icons 8. You can grab it on Figma and let me create a auto layout frame. So shift A and I have now this frame that I will add a fill. I can put it a white fill. Um, you don't see anything because the, the icons are on white, but as soon as I add the effect, the glass effect, it will have this transparency. Let me just uh, put here some more margins. Not as much. Okay, something like this, very tough. And make this a component. So I will create a component of this and I will drag an instance to this first image. And yeah, so right away from the default settings that I have, nothing happened pretty much. You see a bit of this um, glass effect. But if we start to move on to these settings, you can start to create the effect you want, right? So if in this case, I think we need more frost. And here we need always to take uh, in consideration the accessibility because glass effect it's nice but and it will be trendy because now Apple is applying these to, 
to their operation systems, but we need to take careful because in, in many cases we could lose readiness uh, around this. So, for example, in this case, white icons, transparent background, we almost don't see anything. So we, sh we needed to increase here the frost and play around a bit so we can have some visibility here. Then I will duplicate this instance here. We have the same thing, but the background, since it's kind of different, maybe we could reduce the frost, uh, reduce the depth, for example, add less refraction or more. And let's say I don't want any light at all. So I just want this just like that. And yeah, you can play around um, with these settings. I think it's pretty nice uh, to play around with this. So let's have here another example. Let's say in this case, I want to have um, lights because it, I think it combines with the ba background. Let's add some refraction and you see here how this behaves with the background, right? When we have the, uh, the refraction at 100, then I can also add some depth and reduce the dispersion because I don't, I, I want to keep the same blue colors of the background and maybe less, no frost at all. Yeah. And as you can see, it's pretty glassy, this effect. So here it works pretty well, uh, like this, I think. And the final one, so here you almost don't notice anything. I think here we need to have some frost and maybe that could work. And that's it. Try them in your own designs and tell me in the comments if this new feature will help you in your design. If this information is useful, subscribe to the channel. And I also have a free newsletter, The Desk of a Dreamineer, where I share some insights about design, business, AI, and some other stuff that I'm working about or learning about. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.